If you are deploying Dynamics GP, formerly known as the Great Plains, in your organization, then from time to time you may have situations where something went wrong on the database level. For example, batch posting interruption where batch recovery form doesn't work to fix it. I'll be showing you our uh, interface of uh, Microsoft Dynamics GP uh, version 2013. Maybe you got even more dramatic scenario where your general ledger debit and credit are unbalanced. In this small publication we would like to, sh to talk about uh, GP data recovery tools with few popular examples. In, in order to read this article you don't have to be a programmer. It is written in popular way, so if you are IT director or business owner, it should be easy enough to read it and get an idea. Before you call a data repair consultant, we would recommend you to come through recommended data maintenance procedures. There is a chance that check links will fix the issue. What it does, it comes through each record in the table and validates it by looking into related records in the table cluster. For example, GL Account Master has a GL00100, Account Master GL00105, Account Index Master, and a few other tables. And let's imagine that the GL00100 account is present, but the related record in Account Index Master is missing. Checked links should be able to recreate record in Account Index Master table. And now let's take a look how to get to get there. In user interface, go to Microsoft Dynamics GP Maintenance Check Links. If you know the series where you had issues with data, then pick the series and perform check links. If you are not sure, then include all the tables and run check links overnight. Let's imagine that you, that you have issues in financial series, then include all the tables in financials and perform check links. Click OK and it's going to do the job. We have seen situations where check links are conflicting with poorly written dexterity customizations. So if you have a unique dexterity module, coded spe specially for your company, our recommendation would be to make company database backup prior to check links. Okay, in the next paragraph we'll be continuing if check links doesn't help. Data fixing via SQL scripts. Uh, versions higher than 7.5 are available exclusively on Microsoft SQL Server database platform. This means that tables and records are open for you in SQL Server Visual Studio and it is possible to execute update like this one, insert, delete and other statements. You can identify tables in GP. Let me show you. Microsoft Dynamics GP tools Resource description tables. However, our recommendation is not to rush into SQL updating on your own. It should be outsourced to professional technical consultant. In our practice, we have seen challenging scenarios in payroll and payable batches posting crashes as well as GL double entry recovery and historical year reopening. In posting recovery, you typically begin with table SY00500, posting definition master. I'm going to show you this table.
this is post in definition master in us payroll review tables upr3 or 100 payroll check history let me show you This is payroll check history table and uh, the second table to take a look is uh, uh, payroll transaction history which keep which has all the uh, pay codes in it this is the one if you open the, uh, this uh, table you can see the fields physical name and uh, description as well In payable management tables to deal with are PM 20,000, PM transaction open, EPM 20100, apply to open table. Let me show you this table. This is transaction open file, and this is uh, apply to open file. Keep in mind that when in payable management module document is completely applied, it goes to history. So, in complex situations, you may deal with uh, these two tables paid transaction history file and apply to history file. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching. Version 7.5, 7.0 and earlier as well as Great Plains accounting for those are available on the Progressive SQL 2000 v3 uh, platform. Data correction could be done in Pervasive Control Center. Uh, pervasive SQL syntax is slightly different, but it is uh, recognizable for experienced SQL programmer. This is the end.